channel for those of you who don't know me or if you've never been here before welcome my name's rachel and i'm the owner and creator here at the eclectic cottage in spokane washington today's friday and i have yet another thrift flip for you and for today's video i pulled four more items out of my stash in my kitchen these things have been sitting around for a while mainly because i didn't really know what i wanted to do with them and i finally got them finished and out the door so i used a new technique to me today i hope you like it uh, and if you do please remember to comment below and let me know what you think of it and which of the projects your favorite is uh, if you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you think about subscribing to my channel and then just hitting that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And uh, if you like today's video, which I hope you do, uh, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to the projects that I finished for today. This first project ended up kind of kicking my behind just a little. I will explain that a little more as we get into the project, but I had this wooden pedestal bowl. I've had it for some time. It had this beautiful uh, silver foot on it or stand pedestal, whatever you want to call it. And I just really like the style of it, but it was very uh, worn inside. So I started by sanding it and that took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to because of course I had to do it all by hand. And once I finally had it down to where um, I could go ahead and finish it, I decided to go with hemp oil so that this would be food safe going forward. Um, then I went ahead and sanded the bottom of it. You can see just how kind of worn the finish was actually just coming off this piece in places. I wanted to make sure it was all smooth and that anything that was coming off, um, I got rid of. And then I just kind of rinse it off and then I began painting it. And I'm using Farm Fresh by DIY for this project. Now you're going to see in a minute that I had some trouble with the hemp oil leaching into the paint around the rim. I tried at first to seal it with Big Top and repaint and that kind of worked but it didn't totally work. Then I went over it with general finishes and tried that and repainted it and that didn't even really work. And you're not going to see any of that in this video unfortunately. I was so frustrated I almost just gave up on this bowl. What I ended up doing was repainting the whole thing on the bottom, sealing it with hemp oil to see if it would make a difference, and then I actually ended up going over it with dark wax. Now, I am going to show you pictures of it here at the end. You can decide if you like it or not. I think it turned out pretty okay, um, but I didn't want to scrap the piece either. So let me know what you think at the end of the video. Anyway, I did distress the silver and then I went over the piece, like I said, with one coat of Big Top. Uh, that was my first finish that I used on this piece. And I hope you like how it turned out. For project two, I had a couple ceramic uh, candle holders. I've had them for a while now, and I decided I wanted to do something with them, but I wanted to give them a little pizzazz, a little personality, because both of them were just a little bit plain. So this is me starting with the first one, and I decided to do a completely new technique. To me, uh, I took some air dry clay and rolled that out and then took a stamp. This particular stamp is out of the Bold Branches stamp set by Redesign by Prima. So you can see I'm just holding that stamp in place while I use my rolling pin to push down and get a good impression. Then I peel my stamp out just kind of carefully, cut back some excess clay that I didn't think I needed on the piece. And once that was done, it's time for glue. And for that, I'm using Tight Bonds Quick and Thick. And I put a good coat on the back. And then I take my finger and just spread that glue in a really thin layer all over the, the uh, clay, making sure to get all the way out to the very, very edges. 
Once that's done, it's time to place my clay onto my candle holder. So I'm just carefully laying that in place. And then I went around all of the edges and laid that down so it's nice and flat. And then I used my thumb and my fingers to just make sure that the edges were all adhered really well. Once that was done, it's time for paint. Now I did let the clay set up for a little bit, but not too long. I wanted it to be somewhat uh, wet when I went to went ahead and painted it that is supposed to help it not crack as bad I did get some cracking I'm thinking mainly because I had made the clay so thin and because it is very hot and dry here as well so I'm painting this with two good even coats this is petal pusher uh, it's this lovely blue by DIY paint absolutely love this color and you know you can find these on my web shop at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com if you'd like to paint something this color too and once that was done and the paint was dry I went ahead and sealed it with big top now I knew I wanted to put white wax on the at the end uh, and I had seen other people do this where they painted it with big top first and I kind of wanted to have a little bit of movement with my white paint but I'm not sure if I really love the effect um, as much as just going directly over the paint with the white wax so I don't know if I'll do that again in the future but here I am just putting one good even coat of white wax trying to kind of fill all those grooves up and the flower impression as best I can so that it really stands out and then once I've got the wax on I'm just taking my uh, my shop towel and just wiping back any excess I did go over it a couple times just to make sure all the flower grooves and everything was nice and full with white wax so you could really see them. And I really like how this came out. Project two is much the same as project one. Uh, for this one though, I decided to give it a good even coat of black spray paint just so that I had one color to work with. Then I spread out my air dry clay by IOD and for this one, I'm using a stamp out of the IC Paris stamp set by Redesign by Prima. So again, just holding that stamp in place with one hand while I go over it really well with the rolling pin with the other hand. I did kind of push down in the middle of the clay or the stamp just to make sure I had a good impression. Then peeled it up off my board and put some glue on it. And again, I'm just using that tight bond, quick and thick, and spreading it out with my fingers in a nice thin layer all the way out to the edges. Then it's time to place it on my piece. And so I just very carefully laid it down and then I'm just molding it to the form of the candle holder with my hands slowly. And then I used my water this time to make sure that the edges were nice and, and uh, mushed, I guess, down onto the candle holder. And the water helped make sure I wasn't pulling any of the clay away from the uh, impression. Grabbed my small brush. This clay was a little more wet than the last piece and I didn't want to mess up the mold at all. So I uh, used my small brush for the details and then went over the rest of it. This is Bohemian Blue by DIY. One of my newly favorite colors. I absolutely love this color. It's such a nice deep, it reminds me of the ocean a little bit. And once that was done, I used the same technique on this to finish it. I used big top um, over the paint. And then once the big top was dry, I went over this piece with a good coat of white wax by DIY. Um, and I absolutely love how this piece came out. I think the white wax over Bohemian Blue is one of my new favorite color combinations.
What do you guys think of the final product? For my fourth and final project, I am going to use the same technique I did on the candle holders. Uh, I had been gifted this old pitcher by my sister-in-law. Uh, it is very damaged, has some severe chipping, uh, had some stains, and it had some dirt that I just couldn't get off no matter how I tried to scrub it. So I decided to start this one by giving it a good coat of white spray paint inside and out. Uh, that way it cleared up any of the stains that were inside and just gave it a, a new, bright, beautiful um, starting place. For this project, I decided to use a stamp out of the Queen Bee stamp set by IOD. And so I'm rolling out my clay trying to make sure that that stamp is actually going to fit onto the clay as I'm rolling it. Once I had a good shape, I'm ready to put the impression into the clay. So again, just holding on to that stamp on one side and rolling uh, very carefully away from myself with my other hand. Once I had a good impression, I got to try and peel it up off my wood board. And then again, just using that tight bond quick and thick. Then it's time to lay that clay very carefully onto the front of my pitcher and just go around each side, placing it down very carefully and molding it to the shape of the pitcher. Then I took again my water and just used my thumb to make sure that that clay had really good contact all the way around the edge of the uh, impression. Once that was done, it's on to painting. And for this, I'm using DIY's paint in the color crinoline. Uh, this is my favorite new white. I just love it. I know it's not really white because you can see it going over actual white. It definitely has more of a buttery color to it, but I absolutely, absolutely love this color. I decided to kind of go down into the mouth of the pitcher just a little bit because of those chips. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of cover them up and make them blend into the finish on this piece. Once the paint is good and dry, I'm using the same technique to seal this pitcher as I did the candle holders, and I'm going over this with one good even coat of Big Top, followed by dark wax this go around. Now, I always recommend under the dark and black waxes that you either put clear wax or Big Top down before you wax. It does make moving the wax around a lot easier, and it does make a difference with these uh, darker waxes. So here I am just brushing one good even coat of the dark wax all over the piece, making sure that it's really well seated in all of the grooves on the front. And I did go over it a couple times in a couple different places just to give it a really nice aged, kind of grungy appearance. I really wanted this to look more antiqued. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys do too.
think of today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please remember to give it that thumbs up. Also, I would love to know what you thought of the uh, technique I used on the air dry clay. Uh, have you done that before? Uh, is it something you've seen before? Uh, just curious. And then which of the projects was your favorite in today's video? If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to my channel and then hitting that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And also, I just wanted to remind you that if you like any of the products that uh, you saw me use by DIY today, uh, if you want to purchase those for yourself, you can find those at my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com. For Tuesday's video, I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm doing. <laughs> so I have a feeling it's going to be a thrift haul just because the product project that I've been working on uh, is again, giving me a little bit of a run for my money and I'm not gonna be here much tomorrow to fix it. So uh, a thrift haul, it just might be. I hope you'll join me though, either way on Tuesday. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.